everyone this is t set abcd and welcome to another katan video here on my channel so today i'm playing a very uh, i'm playing the uh, cities and knights game for a second i forgot the name actually uh, this is a casual game so i'll just try and have some fun and let's see how this goes so i am in the first position so i can go for something like 6 5 11 or 8 5 3 both of them are equally equal production um so it's not something which would make a lot of difference i think 8 5 3 gives me the option of going towards the sheep port so maybe i can go there yeah I don't expect the sheep port to be open for me but it is an it is an option so I am pointing my road there for my second placement I don't actually I like uh, 8 4 to be honest um I don't think the 6 3 4 will be open for me although that is also quite a good spot yeah as I said as i said 634 will not be open maybe something like 6 9 10 seems to be a quite a strong position as well but i believe black will most likely go for it if it is open nine 4 11 is also a choice but i and i think uh, blue will go for 9411 again if it is left open we are for red i think something like uh, yeah 9510 6910 seems to be decent setup with yeah actually does go for that exact setup does it even point towards the sheep port which i'm not sure because does have decent sheep production has a lot of wood production so will surely want to go towards the wood port and now black goes for 8 10 okay that does leave quite a lot of board open for you open for me so at this point in time i'm thinking 6 9 11 uh, sorry 6 4 9 4 11 to be an ideal spot for me point to the right try and go get to the 3 to 1 port and most likely the sheep port as well I can point to the left and try and go towards three eleven, maybe. Yeah, but I believe blue will go for it, and if blue goes for that, yeah, blue goes for nine four two here. I did expect it to some extent. So now I can go for something like six three twelve. point to the left and try and get a settlement on 3 4 11 later on in the game or maybe i can start with 8 4 yeah surely i think 8 4 is a decent first placement i should be able to get to the sheep port uh, in a decent uh, time frame in that case 6311 makes it a little more difficult but i like 6311 here uh, sorry 6312 with the option of getting a trade early on so there is a lot of sheep available on this board oh, sorry a lot of wood available on this board yeah i do get a trade with blue so i would like to get to the build a build my settlement on the sheep port first i would also like to actually activate my knight because i believe it will be quite difficult for me to hold on to it i would want a 5 and a 3 to roll
and here on this board black is the only one who has a decent amount of wheat production i believe red is also going to have a very very difficult time when it comes to getting a uh, when it comes to activating their knight let's see if i get this trade so far no 3 has rolled neither has any 6 rolled so i don't think so i'll get this trade i believe black will be willing to do that trade just because black doesn't produce any sheep yeah i think this is a fine trade although i am giving black a knight this gives me wood which i don't produce any Oh, red plays an early mining card. So, oh, let's see if I get this. Black should not be. doing this trade with me and as i expected black does not do it how about a trade like this i think this might entice him okay does not accept it so yeah i don't have much choice here i can just in my turn hope that the barbarians do not attack in this turn itself or in this round and then maybe i can do a four is to one Please an alchemist. I would like to roll a three. Okay, rolls an eight instead. Three would have been great for me, giving me wheat and brick. And if and wow, I lose out on a city here. And yeah, I am the only one who loses out on a city. That is. quite unfortunate at least i do get my settlement on the sheep port so now i need to focus on getting cities soon yeah i needed the barbarian to not roll that turn i would have done a forest to one and gotten my knight activated getting a city is an easy option for me and then i can convert my sheep into a single wheat and end my turn here so hoping for a couple of fives to roll this round okay blue rolls a 7 i think blue might block the 10 over here yeah does block the 10 over and blue is able to activate knights because 11s have rolled a couple of times now wow red here already has a level 3 has an aqua duct here so red is in a very very strong position i would want a 5 and a 8 to roll that way at least i get my city back because and yeah only getting a city also doesn't help me too much it's i need to get a city and then be able to defend it against the barbarians too Yeah, 
Yeah, so now certainly I am falling quite far behind in the game. Yeah. Cannot do much with the cards I have in hand, so I think I'll just end my turn. Ten rolls. So now if a three rolls, I will be able to build a road towards three, four, eleven. I would like to see black roll a seven here. I think that would be quite nice. Both black and red losing out on a few cards. Yeah, but that's not happening. So with that eight, I will get a city on my turn. Unless I roll a seven, I think uh, that is also quite a risk. Okay, luckily I don't roll a seven. So at this point, maybe getting a settlement on three, four, eleven might not be a bad option. But I, yeah, I think I'll just get a city. And I can also activate my knight here. But I don't think I'll do that here. I'll do that in the next turn. I do get the merchant card. So now again I will be able to get a few city improvements because of getting my city back. Let's see what red is doing here. Okay. I don't have much choice. I do get wood though. I mean, it's a resource that I don't produce a lot of. But yeah, easily gets a metropolis. So red is in a very, very strong position at this point in time. Now I think the 6 and the 5 needs to be blocked here. Another 4 here. So I cannot do much. I think my only option is to activate my knight just so that I don't lose out on my city again. Irrespective of what happens in this turn, I think that would be my only decent option. So with that 10 at least I get a word. So far no 3's have rolled. I think that is my downfall as compared to 11's which have rolled quite a bit. Black rolls a 7. Black is targeting blue on the 11. I'm not sure why. I mean, 
uh, I don't know if it is a friendly robber is also inactive so wasn't blocking the six a better choice here I don't understand that but now with these cards in hand Yeah, I think just building towards 3, 4, 11 is fine for now. I would like to get my second city up, but um, seems a little difficult. With the way things are here. And yeah, I have to discard a few cards. Yeah, this is quite unfortunate. I mean... Yeah, I have to give up on... I'm not sure, I mean, maybe holding on to the city improvement cards was the right move, but um, yeah. I gave them up just because I wanted to... I'm not sure why Black activated a knight here. Black did not need not... There was no need for Black to do that. I do get this 9 here. That is quite a good move by Black. It helps me... I mean, it helps him, but it helps me as well. I believe it would have been better if Black moved the 10. Yeah, it does move the 10 as well. So, uh, just saying that. Red rolls the 7. I think Red might block the 10 over here. Okay, Solo blocks blue again. But this does give me some weed because of that uh, move. But I don't think I'll be able to get a settlement on this turn. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll get any of these trades. So I'll just end my turn for now. Maybe I could have played the merchant and got on a wall again wall made it easier for me to hold on to more number of cards but it's hindsight now that 12 i do get a settlement now that's quite good and i don't think i will activate my knight anytime soon I know blue and red are fighting for knights or VPs by having the most number of active knights. So I let them use their V to get knights whereas I will hold on to and try and get a city. And yep, yeah, it's again I roll a 7 so th this is unfortunate. I have been rolling 7s exactly when I don't want to roll them. Yeah, I think blocking 5 is completely fine here. So, not much of a choice that I have. Wow, finally a 3, but at this point I don't get wheat out of it, I only get brick. But it's, let's see if I get 2 cards here. Uh, I'll go for any 2, to be honest. Yeah, maybe even 2 wood isn't bad. Uh, but I think I don't want 2 wood, I would want 2 different cards here. But now I can surely get the wall that I was talking about. So I don't have to lose cards because of rolling a 7. Wow. Why was I blocked here? Hmm. 
yeah that not sure what happened there and why was i the target maybe it is because we are both fighting for the yeah he wants that metropolis there i do roll a 7 immediately so that is quite nice so as i said i'll just get my knight and here seems like we might lose the battle against the barbarians so let me just activate a knight so that i don't risk losing it i will also build on it so here if black doesn't get an get his knight activated black might lose it i mean maybe blue and red also blue might activate their knight yeah these trades are not going to help me in any way now threes are rolling now that i don't have any wheat production so here i can force an opponent to remove a knight i think i can force blue to do so get a level 2 knight yeah but i still think i mean targeting red would not be a bad choice because red would easily get a second metropolis he's the closest to getting that wow 10 is excellent for me giving me wheat and wood now what is my next move here i can try and build towards 84 seems to be a far fetched idea though so in that case let's see if i can get a city here or i might just run out of time yeah i think i don't have much choice here i okay maybe i could have moved the merchant on the brick tile because now i am over 9 cards and i am 3 turns away so maybe i will lose out on a few cards here if a 7 is rolled nine has rolled as well so now that is actually quite nice for me but i think it is i mean stronger for black as well let's see i mean i think i can still get a city on my turn and i would hope that i can fight for the fight for this metropolis here on the trade tile i know i am quite a far way away but uh, the best i can do is try yeah but if i have to keep on giving up on my yeah i think i'll giving up on my cloth would never made will always make it difficult for me to get a resource there 
Yeah, red keeps targeting me, which is quite unfortunate. another nine here but now i cannot do anything because i was targeted a couple of times yeah i think i'll just um so okay it wasn't a night of my choice okay but then this is also to some extent all right now i will activate one of my knights and end my turn yeah the eight being blocked here hurts me So I think uh, blue needs to get a settlement here. So on my turn at least I will be able to use this knight to move the robber away from my tile but then let's see how this goes. Yeah, and the sixes are not even helping me because I don't have the city on my 6312. In hindsight, maybe 61011 as the first place, uh, 6511 as the first placement would have been better. So. Here, I think I can just play a monopoly on break. So this basically gives me the city that I'm looking for. I think I'll just target red here out of frustration of being targeted so much. I can get another city and then I can just activate my knight once again and end my turn. So all of a sudden I am on seven points there but um, it still doesn't feel like I am in a good position. I mean these sixes give me hope but I don't think they are good enough. I think it helps um, red just as much as it helps me and red has already made a lot of progress ahead of me. Let's see. But I think my next move here would be to just get another city, maybe on 3, 4, 11.
because trying to get a metropolis will not work in my favor i believe yeah red here is already on 11 so feels like it's going to be an easy game for red i do get some sheep though so this way at least i can get some i mean i don't think it helps me too much but it's worth giving a try i don't there's no point in quitting the game here here i think black needs to block the 5 just so that i can take a metropolis and make it difficult for red to win the game when instead of 5 rolls so i think yeah that's just gg now i believe because red will get two cloths and once red gets the level 5 mono like metropolis i think uh, it is going to be difficult black dust target red though that is quite nice or maybe black might win the game here I'm not sure I mean black is also in a very strong position especially with the access to the sheep port there sorry the wheat port there Let's see what red decides to roll here rolls a 5 Yeah this um doesn't help me in any way the merchant fleet i mean maybe for one turn it might but yeah that's it yeah there is so red just wins the game here is already on 12 points so yeah gets a city and wins the game so yeah i mean not a good game for me but um, i believe um, i'm still learning do let me know in the comment section what do you think what was my biggest mistake here maybe it was yeah production wise my production wasn't bad per se but i think i just had too slow of a start and i did lose quite a lot of resources by rolling a 7 Yeah. Resources gained by trading is also I don't think I traded that much. I did not feel like that at least. And yeah, overall not a very very strong game. But I still don't understand all the nitty gritties of this uh, this game mode. and i don't even know all the cards so i still need to learn and do let me know in the comment section what do you think what could i have, what could i have done differently this game not only the placements but also anything else that you think i did incorrectly i'm surely willing to learn here i have started watching a few uh, videos online for cities and night but then they aren't too in depth so maybe you guys can help me out here anyway uh bye for now and see you in the next video bye bye